Welcome back to Kids Central Online. Whether you're watching in the morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever day of the week it is, it doesn't matter. We are excited to see you watching us online here at Kids Central as we are learning about confidence and how God gives us confidence because of his love. And remember, this is what confidence means. Confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. Now, true confidence comes from choosing to trust God no matter what. It comes from knowing that God loves you and he's always with you. And we're gonna to continue to hear a fantastic Bible story that helps us learn more about how God gives us this confidence and how we can trust him. But before we do, let's stand up and let's worship together as we sing praises to our God today. The reason why my feet can't stop, my heart can't help but sing. It's a wonderful feeling to feel your love for me, to feel the joy you bring. Your love is the answer, so I sing to you. The reason is you, Jesus. Set me free And I'm thankful that you love me Whoa. Guys, way to go. Don't you just love to worship? It's awesome. Hey, it's time for us to now open up the Bible and check in with our friends at the So-and-So Show and see what we can learn more about confidence and how God gives it to us. Let's check it out. It's time. DJ Daisy is back. Lights, music, dance. Come on, dance with me. Woo. Brandon, do not be shy. You can come in now. I know he's out there, but he's waiting for me to turn off the music because he does not like the dance. No more hiding, Brandon. It's time to boogie. Boogie, boogie. <laughs> oh. Do. Oh. How did you? 
Once the DJ Daisy dance party begins, no one stops the DJ Daisy dance party. Hit it! Everybody, welcome to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. I'm Brandon. Uh, and I'm sorry. What? Do you need something? Y- you, yeah, it's your turn to introduce yourself. We're doing the show uh, right now. Oh uh, yes. Sorry, sorry. Hi, and I'm John. And you, we're so glad you're with us today. Can you get off your phone, please? Sure. No, I, what are you doing? Anyway. I, I'm playing the new Candy Smack game. Oh, it just man. came out last night. I've been playing for 72 hours straight. Yeah, well, right. Well, look, you seem a bit distracted, so if you could- Booyah! Whoa! I just smacked that candy. I just smacked up a level. Yeah! <laughs> All right, congratulations. Stop distracting me. I'm not the one being distracting right now. I, I forgive you. Just stop, stop talking. Oh. This could take a while. <laughs> Three hours later. I can't do it anymore. I can't oh, do it anymore. Great. You ready to do the show now? The show? Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you see do you see candy floating around that needs to be smacked, or is it just me? It's just you. Oh good. Smack. <laughs> okay. Please welcome. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Hey, Sugar, welcome back. Smack. Hi. Huh? Uh, good to have you back, uh, Sugar. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you could visit while you were in town. Have a, have a seat. Thanks. <laughs> All right, tell us who you are and what you know. Seriously? I've been here before. You know who I am. No, no I, yeah, I, I know, who, but some, they may not know who you are, so. <sighs> My name is Sugar tilt whirl I work for the Thomason Traveling Carnival. I used to just be the cotton candy maker, but now I run games too. Games? That's what I said. I bet that's fun. The most fun you've ever had in your life. Wow. Smack. So, uh, what, uh, what kind of games do you run at your carnival? Carnival games. I see. Listen, the carnival may be all fun and games and cotton candy for you, but for us carnies, it takes a lot of work and focus. Got it? Yep, got it. Got it. Smack. Uh, you know what? I think we could use a little focus right now, actually. You, you got any carnival games that you could uh, teach us? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Star White. This game is called Pick a Duck. All right, how do you play? You pick a duck. Okie doke. Ah! You have to give me a ticket first. Tickets, please. Pick a duck. Ah! Focus. Oh, yeah. Turn them over. There's nothing. You lose. Next game, Star Wipe. Wait, but... The ring toss game is a classic trickster. It appears easy but requires focus and attention. Only the bravest should attempt to step up to the ring toss challenge. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me. (laughs) Yes, you with the hat. Come on over. Okay. Tickets, please. Ow. (laughs) 
There you go. Okay. Hey. Focus. You didn't focus. Try harder. Be the ring, John. Be the ring. Be the ring. Be the ring. Let me try. <laughs> Two tickets. Oh, sure. Huh? Where'd you get those? <sighs> One. Here we go. And we have a winner! I did it! How? <laughs> what? Here's oh. a prize. I thought it would be bigger. They always think that. Okay, I, you know you know what? I'm ready now. I'm ready to focus, okay? What else you got? Huh? I also run the dunk tank. Yes! It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Hey guys. What do you have for us today, Kevin? Well, I've got a good one, but I'm gonna need your help. Yeah, I love helping. Sure. Great, because it's time for another live action flannel graph. <music> Jesus' disciple Matthew wrote about a time when Jesus told his disciples to go out in a boat on the Sea of Galilee. One of the disciples in the boat was Peter. All right, Peter, Jesus wants us to go. Let's get in the boat. Okay, catch you later, Jesus. Ah, 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 you yeah, first. Yeah, okay. Oh, ah, 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 yeah. Hi. Ah. Here we go. After they left, Jesus went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, the boat was already a long way from land. The boat was being pounded by the waves because the wind was blowing against it. Uh, ah, these waves are huge. Uh, how are we ever gonna make it through the night? <laughs> and then, shortly before dawn, they saw something on the water. A ghost! Oh! But it wasn't a ghost. It was Jesus walking on the water. He called out to them and said, Be brave. It is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it is you, tell me to come out onto the water with you. Come. Uh, hold on. Uh. Oh, 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 wow, this is amazing. I'm walking on the water. But when Peter saw the wind, he was afraid. He began to sink. Lord, save me. Right away. Jesus oh. reached out his hand oh. and grabbed Peter. Oh. 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 Help me. Oh. Oh. Jesus oh. said to him, your faith is so small. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those in the boat worshiped Jesus. Jesus, you truly are the son of God. The end. Thank you guys so much for your help. You're welcome. Sure thing. It's so amazing that Jesus can walk on water. Yeah, and what about Peter? What faith, what focus? It's true. When Peter was focusing on Jesus, he was able to walk on water. But when he got distracted by the storm, he began to sink. I feel like I do that sometimes. You walk on water sometimes? No, I mean, I feel like I get distracted by the, you know, storms of oh. life. It happens to all of us sometimes, but we just got to try and remember to stay focused on Jesus, especially during the storms. He's the one that can help us through them. That's awesome, Kellen. Thanks. No problem. I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Spam! Spam! 
<laughs> what do you think, John? You ever get distracted? Me? Smack. No. Smack. Okay. Uh huh. Reveal the question. What distracts you from focusing on Jesus? That's a good question. It, it could be something big and scary that distracts you, like an actual storm, or it could be something like staring at a screen too much. <laughs> Stop that! Uh, sorry, sorry. Sometimes I, uh, I, I get distracted because I'm thinking about what other people might be thinking about me instead of focusing on Jesus and how much he loves me. Hmm. Good answer. See? Yeah. I can focus. Good. Talk about it with each other. What distracts you from focusing on Jesus? And we'll see you next time. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this was the So-and-So Show. Smack! Smack! <laughs> <laughs> Smack! Oh! That was uncalled for. I saw candy. Oh, oh, good, good, yeah. good, good. No, you're not. You're playing a league about. That's what I'm doing, what you're doing. No, you're okay. running in place and jogging. There you go. It's a good, it's good dancing. This is what parties are all about. Yes. No, 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 no. Around in a circle like this. Yeah, there you go. Now do your head. No, 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 just side to side. No, no, you're not dizzy. All right, stop the lights. Stop the lights. That was a dance break. <laughs> <laughs> now, Peter was confident as he kept his focus on Jesus. But as soon as he took his focus off of Jesus and started focusing on the wind, and the waves and the raging storm, well, he got scared and he began to sink. Peter needed to keep his eyes and his focus on Jesus. And that's exactly what we need to do. Because our bottom line says this, stay focused on Jesus. It's simple, say it with me. Stay focused on Jesus. Keep trusting in Jesus even when you face challenges and problems in life. He is always with you through it all. So keep that focus on Him. Let's pray to Him right now. Hey God, thank you so much for being with me always. Help me to remember that and help me to focus on you. When problems come my way, challenges, things that sometimes feel even overwhelming, I'm going to keep my eyes focused on you and I'll know and I can trust that you are always with me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we learned our new memory verse from last week, Philippians 1, 6. Remember it says this, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1, 6. Niv! Yeah, we're bringing the Niv part back again like last month. All right, remember the motions go like this. Being confident of this. Do that with me. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1, 6, Niv! All right. A little tougher verse, but it's a great, great verse to remember, to know that Jesus is doing a good work in each and every one of us, and that he's always going to be with us to complete that good work in us. It's an awesome thought. Hope you guys can visit us here at Kids Central. If you guys are just missing the weekend, maybe you're on vacation, we're glad you're checking in. Hope to see you guys next weekend. If not, keep on checking in right here at Kids Central or just check us out during the week. See you next week. Peace. Out of here. Gone. See ya.